Hello everyone and welcome back to Flight Sim 2020 where we're going to take a look at Atlantic City because there is a new freeware pack called Atlantic City Skyline and installed it is about one gigabyte so it's a pretty hefty pack. I'd like to see what Atlantic City looks like beforehand to judge whether we need the upgrade uh, because my SSD space is a little bit cramped frankly. So let's find out. I also installed a performance upgrade for this Beechcraft Bonanza 36. I'm using a runway that isn't used apparently, but it happens to be an airport really. It's like, it's sort of like the Meg's field of Atlantic City, basically. So that's why. I forget what the airport is called. But anyway, uh, a performance upgrade to the Beechcraft Bonanza by D. Siski on. Um, well, I still gotta watch out for my flying here. But uh, it's on Nexus mods and it basically increases the top speed by about 10 knots to better comport with the Bonanza's actual capabilities. And it flies pretty well so I've kept it. Be aware that that performance fix will uh, overwrite You'll have to overwrite the original files, so back those up first, if you choose to use it, but it seems to be alright. One thing about a lot of planes in uh, Flight Sim, and this is one of them, is that if you idle them, they shut off. That's not right, they lose oil pressure for some reason. And I'm pretty sure, you know, idling is never going down to 0% on the throttle, really. It's not 0% of the engine power. Technically, I think they're supposed to make idle uh, high enough so that it maintains the oil pressure of the engine. Um, so yeah, I don't know why it doesn't. But I noticed that with the TBM, I think, or was it the Baron? Anyway, there have been other planes like that. I think it was the TBM that had that problem as well. I'm, I'm not. I don't think they're supposed to do that, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, well we see we have a problem here. The AI has made really boring buildings out of what are casinos. So this is not the freeware scenery package. And yeah, this is a little bit sad. But one gigabyte? Hmm. That's an interesting question. I wonder if I could reduce the size of the textures a bit. Well, let's see what the full one gigabyte looks like and then we'll judge. Okay, here we are again. Now with the mod, there thing looks like there's more stuff going on. I'll say that. And we will take off. This is Atlantic City Municipal, by the way. Well, there's a little bit more lag as they load some stuff. Uh, it's smoothed out. Well, we certainly see more buildings around here. Let's see. Oh. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Whatever building this one is, I don't think I can reduce its texture quality much. I don't know. I think they're, like, taken from big maps as well or something, and... So, even though they're 8K textures, it's not that good looking. This is a nice pier. We'll come back around to get further details. Or maybe the game hasn't loaded the full DDS quality yet, because they're mid-map levels. Taj Mahal here. You see, it's not exactly crisp. I don't know which one this one is. But obviously, the skyline is much improved. I mean, it was basically nothing before. So, coming around the back side here. The rest of the area is still a little bit sad, to be honest, but... Especially at the, I guess, north end. 
Some of the other lots are pretty empty. I guess they're parking lots, but I can't tell. They don't have the lines in. Tropicana. So, what I'm wondering is, well, basically, we're talking about one gigabyte for a dozen buildings, or something like that, maybe 14 buildings. And if I reduce the textures, each building is an 8K texture, and it takes up 87 megabytes per building. So, that's what we're talking about for the one gig. Now, if I reduce the textures to 4K instead of 8K, that'll reduce this oops sorry swung by a little too quick. the camera is a little bit jerky right now um they'll reduce the size of the texture by a factor of four or maybe a little bit more than that actually because of the bitmaps below so yeah maybe that will be more efficient in terms of space and I don't know if I'm getting a full 8K vibe from the textures of these buildings anyway. But can I safely reduce the size of the textures without causing some sort of weird glitch? Well, that's what I'm here to find out. So I'm gonna go test that out, take the DDS files into paint.net, which is a program that I often use for editing DDS files, just resizing them to 50% and we'll see what happens. Okay, so here we go with half size textures. I reduced it to uh, 4K and that yields a total size of 367 megabytes instead of 1.1 gigabytes. I left the pier full size, 8K, uh, because I like the look of the pier. And also we'll be uh, seeing more details of it than necessarily of the other buildings when flying over. But uh, I don't know if my process for reducing the size of the files was good. We'll see. Again, I use paint.net. But DDS files are peculiar because they have the MIP maps. So you have to make sure to generate the MIP maps. So do we see anything out of the ordinary? I mean, it looks a little bit worse, I think. Maybe. Hold on, it's a little bit stuttery right now. Okay, that's cleared up. I mean, they're still here. It's not totally messed up, so that's job one done. <laughs> I was worried that uh, somehow I would do something that would totally mess them up. That's not the case. So, uh, the Atlantic City Skyline mod, the original version, is by Coco Pelli 872 available on nexusmods.com. And what I've done is reduce the size of the textures because I thought one gigabyte was a little bit too much to be carrying on my poor little SSD. I don't know, it looks a little bit... I don't, I'm trying to decide whether it, it uh, looks worse or that's just how it is. I think this is okay. We certainly needed the fix, and so we can thank Coco Pelli for the fix. Definitely needed these these buildings. And yeah, uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be that pattern at the top. We'll see. But yeah, I think. Overall, the experiment of compressing the textures, reducing their size, has been successful, tentatively. And so I'll probably do that for other mods if I feel like... Oh, it's a bit sticky here, though. I don't know why. It always gets a little bit sticky right at that location. But, yeah, if it turns out that mods tend to have really, really big textures and I'm not visiting a location that much, I might reduce the size of the of the textures just to keep some space for other things so that's good to know that I can do that anyway all right well with this experiment I'll say thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time